What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Field Series Review. Today, I'm doing an unboxing of the brand new Sitka Gear Ambient 200 jacket. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm doing an unboxing of the brand spanking new Ambient 200 jacket from Sitka Gear. Um, this just hit the website a few days ago. I got mine in yesterday and I'm about to take it out of the package for the first time. So before we jump into the unboxing, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. You definitely want to hit that bell for notifications because I have several more pieces of new Sitka Gear that I'm going to be reviewing. So you want to see those as soon as they come out. Um, make sure you have your social media, TikTok, Instagram, give us a follow, see what's going on over there. And do not forget about the sponsor of today's video, Kuwano Gear at Kuwano.com. My promo code FS Review, so we get you that 15% off site wide. All right, so the Ambient 200 jacket. Uh, this is the newest Ambient jacket uh, from Sika Gear. They did release an lightweight hoodie, Ambient, maybe 75 or something hoodie a few weeks back. I'm assuming that's geared towards early season big game for those uh, elk hunters out there. I don't have my hands on that yet, but I do have my hands on the Ambient 200 jacket. A little bit of housekeeping about this jacket. It's going to come in at $329, sizes medium through 3X. You're going to have two options for the tall version, and that's going to give you, I think, two inches additional on the arm length, maybe a little bit longer. So you guys, 6'3", 6 6'4", you want to look at those large talls or XL talls. Um, my initial thoughts about the jacket, what I think it's going to be, I'm assuming it's going to be very much like the uh, ambient jacket that was released either last year or the year before. Um, it is going to be a lightweight, very warm, breathable, very mobile jacket. The standard ambient jacket comes in with 150 grams of Primaloft insulation. Um, the hoodie is a little bit less. I want to say it was like uh, 125, and then they kind of went lower and lower and lower down to like you know ultra light ambient. Now I think they're going to throw in. I know they're throwing in 200 grams of Primaloft insulation. So what I'm expecting is is those of you that remember the old Celsius or Celsius midi jackets from Sipka Gear on their white tail side. I think this is basically going to be ambient version of that. Okay, so I have the Elevated 2 version. Um, I need one for deer hunting. And so that's what I got. So let's get this guy out of the package. All right. Initial thoughts um, is that this is an ambient jacket with more permaloft insulation. Um, definitely has a thicker feel to it. I'm a big big believer in the ambient jacket i love it as a um mid-layer i love it underneath a delta weighting jacket a stratus jacket um even if you wear uh something like a downpour jacket when it's snowing or raining and you want something warm underneath it i've always liked the ambient um i have wanted it to be just a maybe a scotch thicker um and i got my wish so this is the ambient 200 jacket now, those of you that are used to the Ambient series of jackets, uh, this isn't going to be any new surprise, any uh, groundbreaking innovation. It's going to be a thicker Ambient jacket. And for those of us deer hunters that hunt later in the year when it's cold, this is just what the doctor ordered. Um, those of us that like to go with a Stratus jacket for the outer, we want something warm and mobile and quiet and breathable underneath that Stratus. We have found it. Um, so take just a little bit of look. Give me just a second to look at the jacket, see if there's anything new. Like I said, I haven't done any research, any reading about this jacket. I am just taking it right out of the package. Um, okay, pretty standard stuff, right? We're going to have a single, single breast pocket right here, two pockets on the sides. All three of those pockets are going to be zipped. So I really like that especially down on the sides, phone, keys, wallet, whatnot. Um, those of you that have dropped keys in the woods, following out of your pockets, you know that you'll appreciate the zippers on the side pockets. Um, you are going to have um, fleece line on the pockets to keep your hands nice and warm. We'll open this guy up and let you have a quick look on the inside. Very similar to the ambient jacket. 
we have fleece inside, very soft, very warm, very breathable. My opinion, what makes the ambient so um, effective is not only is it warm, but it's very light. And then it has this rip stop outer with DWR spray. So it's not water um, proof, but it is water resistant, you know, a little bit of light um, precipitation, you'll be okay. But this rip stop gives you a little bit of flexibility, lots of movement in there. Um, it's rip stop is supposed to be very, very durable. I have gotten mine caught on some briars and nicked it a little bit, but I'm using this primarily as a mid layer. And why am I using it as a mid layer? It's not windproof. It's not windproof. Me, I'm a big proponent in having my outer layer being windproof. So once again, those of you that have a Delta weighting jacket, jet stream, stratus jacket, and you want something warm, breathable, and mobile to wear underneath it, the Ambient 200 is going to be your guy. All right, guys. So let's talk about sizing in this jacket a little bit. I am six foot one, close to six two, 205, 210 pounds. I've always worn an XL in most jackets. I wore an XL in the Ambient, and it fits me great. There's some XLs that are a little too big, um, but the Ambient in an XL fit me great. I ordered an Ambient in the XL. 200 and let's see how it does. Fits great. Arms fit great. Fits very much like the standard ambient jacket. You can just tell it's a little thicker and it has more insulation, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, you don't have any thumb loops here for layering. So if you slide a jet stream Delta weighting jacket stratus over the top. Just be mindful. You're going to have to maybe pull the arms a little bit. Um, can't remember if I mentioned this before, but it does have a drawstring at the bottom, which is always a must, for, especially for mid-layer jackets, because you want to tighten that down to keep the air from coming up underneath you. Pockets are nice and warm. Now, this is an elevated two whitetail jacket, but it is not going to have a port system in the back. So make sure you know that if you're looking for, if you're going to wear this with a harness, it will need to go on underneath your harness. Um, but like I said, no big surprises. Fits great. Absolutely love the Ambient series. And I don't think this is going to be any different. All right, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed my unboxing of the Sika Gear Ambient 200 jacket. No big surprises here. This is essentially an ambient jacket with more permaloft insulation. They released their original ambient jacket with 150 grams of permaloft insulation, and everything has just gone down from there, right? The hoodie had a little bit less, and then the ultralight had a little less, and then the newest hoodie had a little bit less, and the vest had a little bit less, and then the blanket that had no permaloft. Um, but they took the ambient jacket and they stuffed it with more permaloft insulation. So those of you looking for a warm mid layer for those late season white tail, waterfowl, big game hunts, are going to be able to get it with this jacket. So my full review will come out once I'm able to use it in the field. But my unboxing is I am not surprised by anything with this jacket. I'm very excited, though. I'm a big fan of the ambient series. And I'm going to get my wish of having a very warm ambient jacket to go underneath my stratus for this whitetail season so once again thank you guys for stopping by please don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel we have lots more good stuff coming um, make sure you check us out on instagram and tiktok and we'll see you guys next time